Hey guys, before I start this video, very quick message. I know that a uh, lot of you guys, after you have done watching the video, you still have some question unanswered or if you need a help with the admission process in this particular university for this particular course, I can definitely contribute on that side. What you have to do is simply go on to www.nikshala.com, book an appointment. Let's get on a call for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure we will be able to answer all your questions. Let's start. Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I have Shruti here with me. She is here to share her experience of how she got admission in public university in Masters in Economics. This is a very rare site where people studying in a, in a public university a business studies. Usually they are more into private colleges, right? Studying in a public university means saving a lot of cost and of course gaining the degree. That is more important here. Before we go ahead, Shruti, why don't you give us your introduction, please? Hello, I'm Shruti from Pune and uh, I've studied in Pune University. I've done my bachelor's in economics, BA economics in Pune University and I completed my bachelor's and after that I did an internship for three years in Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics which is based in Pune. After that also I've worked for two years, I mean during my bachelor's I've worked for two, two years as a part-time German language trainer. I've also uh, learned German for three years during my bachelor's and I've completed C2 level of German and um, now I'm, I'm studying in Bonn University in Germany which is a public university. I'm doing MSc economics course here in Bonn. I got admission last year and uh, that's, that's in the winter semester of 2019-20. And I'm staying in Germany since October 2019. All right, thank you so much for the introduction. A lot of universities here in Germany, when you apply for uh, business studies, especially masters, they would always look out for three years of degree. Uh, sorry, four years of degree in from your bachelor's. In her case, we were just talking about uh, University of Bonn, where she is studying currently. They accept three years of degree. Usually, a lot of other universities, they will ask you for, uh, bring us four years of degree. So what some students do is, they study three years of bachelor's. In fact, so we have got two options after that. Either you go and work for one more year, that kind of makes up to the fourth year, or go and do one year of master's wherever you are in India or elsewhere in the world. So that can count as a, your fourth year. Um, so yeah, this is just a prerequisite uh, I wanted to share with you. Uh, Shruti, uh, what documents are required uh, to apply for uh, masters in economics, the study, the course, what you're doing. So, in the university which I am studying in currently, in the University of Bonn, we need uh, the transcript of records for each year. That is, if you've done a three-year degree, all or like first year, second year, third year, as well as uh, your bachelor certificate and the degree. Yeah, I mean the degree certificate and uh, your CV with the current uh, like the grade and everything mentioned uh, tabular cv and uh, lor from two professors of the university and that needs to be sent directly from the professors to the university that is the university sends a mail to the professor with the link in it and the professor himself has to uh, send the send the LOR to the university and uh, another thing that we need is the ILTS certificate with a minimum score of 6.5 6.5 yeah did you give any GRE or GMAT GRE wasn't compulsory for the University of Bonn but it's optional it's optional yeah. so um, well if you have time please go ahead and give it it's always uh, going to be plus on your profile mm. good um, was the application via uni assist or direct application uh, it was a direct application. Did you send them a physical copy or did you apply it through portal? I applied through the portal and uploaded the soft copies, the scanned copies. Okay, okay. Mm. Um, usually in such cases or any other case, if you're getting an admission here in German universities, please make sure that you bring your original documents along with you if you're coming to Germany. Very important point because on the day one, when you reach your university, they will cross-check all the original documents, what you have with you, uh, they'll scan them and then put them in their records. Uh, they're just cross-checking everything what you've uploaded when you before you got the admission. Did you get the response? After around one, one and a half months, I got the response from the university. Okay. Yeah. Did you pay any application fees or anything? No, it was completely free. Free? Because it was online. Okay, okay. What were the other colleges you applied? I applied to uh, the LMU which is based in Munich, I applied to the Mannheim Business School 
uh, Bonn University naturally and uh, Freiburg University and the University of Cologne. And all of these universities were to do with interna uh, masters in international business or masters in economics? Uh, I was going for masters in economics. Economics, that yeah. was your interest, area yeah. of interest, okay. Um, and your bachelor's was also in area of um, economics? Yeah, I did okay. BA in economics. Got it, got it. And that was three years degree, right? Yeah. Got it, got it. After all these list of colleges where you applied, how many colleges you got accepted? I got accepted to two colleges which was uh, the University of Bonn and the Freiburg University. What are the subjects are you studying? I am studying right now. I am doing the basic modules that is uh, in the first semester. I am doing microeconomics, macroeconomics, finance, econometrics and math. How much are you paying for this course? Uh, so the fee for the course to in total is 1200 euros. Uh, for each sem it is 300 euros including a state ticket for free transportation throughout the state of North Rhine Westphalia. Shruti, um, what about part-time jobs here? Because a lot of times, you know, when you're studying, it's good to have a side income coming in. Uh, what about part-time jobs? So, part-time jobs, there are many jobs available for students, which is around 10 to 15 hours per week, which is quite doable, I think, because the university is only um, like six to seven hours, and in the evenings or something, you can work for two, three hours, and uh, mostly for students, the time is flexible. But uh, most of the jobs yeah. here need uh, some German language proficiency. That's it. Okay. Is your attendance important in your college? No, not at all. Bonn University has no attendance. <laughs> Re compulsory attendance. Compulsory attendance. Mm -hmm. So that also gives you more flexibility to yeah. do a part-time job or in fact an internship if you're getting during your study time. And I always suggest people try to find an internship or a student job over making burger or uh, cleaning houses or toilets because when you spend your time in the right place it adds a lot of value to your CV because that's what you're here for you're looking for a full-time job ultimately after your completion of studies so focus on that don't forget you're not here to make burgers you're not here to work in an Indian kitchen um, you have got a limited visa so make full use of that investing in the right direction other point what I wanted to pinpoint here but since we are talking about this point is there are no job placements here okay so don't come with like high hopes here individual studies are uh, that's that's a trend here uh, professors I uh, will they'll give you a framework but majorly you have to work on it right I mean how's how has been your uh, journey so far studying in a German university like going to college, what is the difference, what do you see? Uh, firstly, I find that the professors here are quite friendly with the students, most of them. Like, uh, they attend to the questions after the, uh, after the class or in between the class also. They give clarifications and uh, the classrooms are good, of course. And in between the break, like in between the lectures and the breaks and all also, we can go to the library and study or uh, even the restaurants are close by so i find that quite okay. cool what about cost of living for a month uh, if you get into a student dormitory it is uh, mostly less than 300 euros per month okay yeah but uh, individual like private cost of private uh, accommodation is quite expensive in Bonn. like how much around 400 to 500 euros per month and is there a problem going on in the city where major students are facing this for the accommodation, the accommodation? Uh, yeah mostly like you don't get into student dorms quite easily but uh, the masters program here in Bonn for economics our department has taken this initiative that um, that the international students can apply through the department for the student dorm okay. and uh, I think like 95% of the international students have got an accommodation through our department. Wow. Yeah. So uh, okay. I think but that is only for this course and not for the other courses. Your yeah. team needs to be contacted. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very rare side because see I've you know after traveling to so many cities in Germany I can tell you Accommodation has, is really big problem. Okay, mm -hmm. when this accommodation becomes problem, it affects you immediately because financials are involved. Right, every month 
you have a set budget of 800, 850 euro. If, if, if you exhaust everything and don't save anything from your monthly credit, what you get from your blocked account, uh, because see, try to try to save as much as you can in the first year, and that same money will then be utilized in the next year, right? This has been a problem, so that's why what I would suggest to you is apply into university as soon as you've got the admission. Please immediately apply for accommodation. Don't wait until the last moment. Don't get busy looking out for visa stuff. Visa has to happen, of course, but apply immediately for accommodation because otherwise you're going to suffer after landing here. Okay. Any suggestions before we end the video? So yeah, that is right. Like you have to also check the university website page of the department you are applying to. If they have any um, uh, help for the accommodation and all, you can ask your international coordinator if they have uh, like any um, any special code for. In our case, they gave us a special code for the accommodation, and we had to pay a deposit of around 300 euros so that we could get a room. And after that, like uh, we got a mail from our department saying that we have got this this dorm and it was fixed like i just came into germany and signed my contract that was all and paid the fee of course right right see at the end of the day what i would suggest to you is as soon as you've got the admission run after every person you know okay uh, chase them and get the accommodation fixed because not having an accommodation that means after you've landed here you can't unblock your blocked account okay because without house contract Nobody's going to give you an Meldum, the city registration paper, which then helps you. It's a key to unlock the blocked account. And in fact, other areas also which will make your life easy with that piece of paper. Okay. With that being said, thank you so much for coming on my channel. Uh, I hope that this gave you an insight about what is really happening. Uh, this may not have exactly helped you to answer all your questions, but I hope we gave a, a drop of knowledge into your basket. Okay. Having said this, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.